Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on the Spanish tragedy and we get to hear from Isabel today in Act 3, Scene 8. Now, sometimes she's called Isabel, sometimes she's called Isabella, depending on what version you're reading and, and how many syllables they need in the line. But the long and short of it is she is Hieronymo's wife and Horatio's mother. And she is also very much grieving for her son. Now, Hieronymo is out there to get revenge, which in the scene where they found Horatio dead, Isabel was on board with the fact that his death needs to be avenged. So Hieronimo has gone out to do all of those things, and he found the letter from Belimperia, and then he also received the letter from Pedringano, so now he's convinced that it was Balthazar and Lorenzo who orchestrated Horatio's death, and he's, you know, he's ready to go get his revenge. Act 3, Scene 8, we get to see the grief through a slightly more feminine lens, which is maybe reminiscent of some other female grief like Ophelia's, perhaps, in Hamlet. So we have Isabel, or Isabella, and her maid, and they are in her house the, that she shares with Hieronimo. And Isabel is, is kind of running around and she's a little bit crazy. She's like, okay, well, this herb cures that and this one cures that, but what's going to cure my heart because my son is dead and where's my son? And the maid is like, you know, you know that he's buried out in the field. And, and um, Isabel is like, she's, she's sort of floating in and out of lucidity. And the maid is like, please settle down. You know, this is, you're tormenting my soul with your craziness. And Isabel says, my soul, poor soul, thou talkst of things Thou knowest not what, my soul hath silver wings that mounts me up unto the highest heavens, to heaven. I, there sits my Horatio, backed with a troop of fiery cherubims dancing about his newly heated wounds, singing sweet hymns and chanting heavenly notes, rare harmony to greet his innocence that died. I, died, a mirror in our days. But say, where shall I find the men, the murderers, that slew Horatio? Whither shall I run to find them out that murdered my son? And that's the end of the scene. So it's just, it's, it's her, um, grieving and not dealing very well with the fact that her son is dead but she she imagines him in heaven and she imagines that it's a beautiful place and she imagines that she will see him again there at some point but then she she does a really quick turn to gotta get revenge on the guys that killed my kid for that last little bit and then the scene ends so at least Hieronimo and Isabel are on the same page in in their marriage they both want to avenge their son and that's the end of act three scene eight so we're gonna have to wait until a later scene to find out whether or not they are successful in getting their revenge so come on back and we will figure that out together i'll see you then Mwah.